Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an exercise I call the Holy Grail. And what it's done is it really helped me develop my technique, especially with soloing and making my song sound more interesting by adding extra notes to simple chords. So I'll give you an example. If I'm playing the chord C, what I would do is I'd throw my F chord, play my F chord over the C chord while I'm still playing C. Playing F, keeping my third finger on the C chord. Or even part of the G7 chord. So we're adding little sounds like that. So if I were playing it in a song. What this exercise did is it trained my fingers to grab a really good formation. Which has really helped when I come to do solo. So if I'm playing a D chord, and I play my D chord a lot by using my first finger over the second fret of all the strings, then I like adding my fourth finger to the first string on the fifth fret. So first finger on the second string, across all the strings, fourth finger on the first string of the fifth fret. So after doing this exercise, I was able to do little um, runs like this. So I'll try and put that in a chord um, example for you. So now I'm doing the same thing only instead of doing it in C, I'm now able to do it in the key of D. So the exercise, we'll go through it. First finger on the first fret of the fourth string. And as you all know by now, the fourth string is the one closest to your chin. So I'm just going to use a, uh, my thumb to play a downstroke. And the second finger on the same string, fourth string, second fret. My third finger, third fret. 4th string, 4th finger, 4th fret, 4th string. Now once we get there, we do the same exercise again, only we move it down to the next string, th uh, string number 3, and we repeat the exercise. Finger number 1, finger number 2, finger number 3, finger number 4, and the same again, move it down to the next string. String number two now, starting with our first finger. Finger number two, finger number three, finger number four. And the last string, or I should say the first string, string number one, closest to the floor. First finger, two, three, four. Now there's a couple of things that I'm listening to, and one is the quality of my sound. So to help me get a really good, nice sound, I use my fingertips and I use my thumb to help me squeeze, not hard, but hard enough to make that string ring. And also what we want to do is we want to make our notes ring. We don't want them short, like that. We want a nice, long sounding note. And then we play the next note while the string is still ringing. So those are a couple of things that we really have to focus on when we're doing this exercise. All right, now part two of the exercise is going backwards. But we start on string number one, closest to the floor, put all our fingers on, and we start with our fourth finger. Same again, thumb, down stroke. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Next string. Four, 
three, two, one. Next string. Three, two, one. Back to string number four. Four, three, two, one. So I'm really happy with that. There was some lovely, clean, clear, ringing notes. And that's our goal. So don't expect to be able to do it like that straight away. If you can, fantastic. But if you don't, just get used to the exercise. Another important part about this exercise is the speed. So we don't want to go fast. So I'm going to grab my metronome and find out exactly how fast that was. Or how slow that was. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to Google a metronome. And there's one there. So I'm going to say maybe uh, 45 beats per minute, maybe. No, slower. Okay, 40 beats per minute. That's a great, great speed. Now we're going to start with our first finger on the fourth string of the first fret and then go through each finger and then move down to the next string. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. Here we go. Down. Two, three, four. And again, next string. Three, four. Next string. We're on string number two now. String number one. And backwards. Four, three, two, one. Second string. Four, three, two, one. Trying to stay in time. Four, three, two, one. Back to the fourth string. Four, no, oh, three, two, one. And then we have it the Holy Grail. And the Holy Grail will create a really lovely habit for all your fingers so that eventually you'll be able to do things like this. Even if we did it on the first fret, first finger across all the strings, where we did the exercise. The Holy Grail. Have fun and please you got to keep practicing, keep smiling and keep in touch. We'll see you again soon.